Jamie here from Oh You're Lovely and today is all about the magical floating teacup. Alright guys, this particular tutorial was requested by the lovely Maggie May, as I like to refer to her, my business partner at Oh You're Lovely. Oh boy, it's a good thing I love her. <laughs> this, was a, this was a doozy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've seen it done many different times, many different ways, and y'all, it took me a bunch of different ways to finally get it all to come together, so I'm glad I did it. I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna do one again. I'm glad that I did it. I learned so much through this whole process. So let's just jump into it and I hope you enjoy the journey that is a magical floating teacup. A fork, as many as you need for as many of these floating teacups that you want to do. Liquid nails. A plier is definitely recommended to help you bend the fork. Masking tape. This we're gonna use in between steps to hold everything together as your glue sets. You can also use painter's tape, frog tape, whatever you have on hand. Teacups! As cute or not cute as you want. You will need some greenery, moss, floral tape, and sola flowers to complete the project. I'll show those later. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna try to do something a little bit more even fancier than what I've seen in the past. And I found this cute little um, cream pitcher from the jig. So what I think I'm gonna do is we're going to try, we're gonna glue the teacup into on the plate and then we're gonna have this pouring into the teacup. I don't know if it's gonna work. I've never tried it. Actually I've never tried either of these. <laughs> so we're gonna see if this works and we're also gonna do a normal standard floating teacup. Um, so what we've got is I've got some forks already bent. Um, I will say I tried to bend these are like little shrimp forks. These were so hard to bend like it wasn't gonna happen so I'm not using those. Um, I did find just some standard, these are fairly lightweight metal forks. Those were fairly simple to bend. And then some of the fancier ones too are this one. It was really pretty, so I kind of feel bad about bending it, but that's all right. We're going to make do. Uh, so what my thought process is on this, for said pitcher one, we're going to glue the teacup in place, glue the fork inside here and then the top part right there. We'll also probably add a couple pennies or um, rocks or something at the bottom of the teacup to help even give more weight to it. If this works, it's gonna be so stinking cute. And then the other one, the way that we're gonna do this, we're going to put glue at the bottom of the plate. This is where this is gonna come in handy because we're gonna tape this over while it's um, setting to dry. And then second step after the first portion of the glue has set is we'll put this in there to tip and then we'll float it. All right, let's 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 get to gluing and see just how messy this gets. We're gonna let that one sit for 24 hours and then we're going to put the glue up on this part and let that dry for 24 hours. So as that one's 
sitting and doing its thing, we're going to also do this one. Hmm. Since I'm making it sit in place on there, I'm wondering if, because I want to probably dry this this way. That's probably not going to work the way I want. So this one's going to take a little bit longer, unless I, maybe I can glue this part right now, and then we'll glue the second part. I'm trying to think in my head if this is going to work the way I want, because gravity and all that fun stuff. We're going to let this dry for about 30 minutes, and then we'll try to get that fork set into the cup, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, so we are on part two now of our teacups. I have let these sit for quite a while. Let's talk about it real fast. Before I get into that though, this whole thing I need to apologize for, but we are in the middle of a quarantine. Um, as many of you are knowing, if you're watching this during the time that it's going live, um, crazy time in our world right now, and I have five kids at home, so things are a little rough. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So. Um, some of these videos might be a little rough uh, around the edges as well, but we're going to make it through and we're going to have some craft therapy. So with this particular tutorial, I did put a fair amount of the liquid nail and everything's fine now. They're all holding back, like, don't fall on me. Yep, they're all good. Um, I will say though, easy does it. The more you put on it, the thicker it is, the longer it needs to sit and set and dry. What should have been 24, maybe 48 hours tops, I had to let this guy sit four days. This one was done in 20, a little over 24 hours. This one took four days because I just had too much of the liquid nail. So with that in mind, we are going to do step two and hopefully I don't put too much glue on and we can get this done and the structure ready for the flowers in 24 hours. All right, let's get to it. This is what we've got going on. I finally figured out a way to like have the right heights and angles and I'm afraid to touch it. I don't want to move anything so that it doesn't move again. This is very finicky. I'm slightly regretting my decision to use liquid nails. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the end if it was worth that decision. But for right now, we're gonna let these sit. We're gonna, we're gonna whisper so that we don't disturb them. <laughs> and we're gonna hope that when I come back in 24 hours, they're still standing. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, we have made it. And let me just kinda go through what has all happened in the last couple of days. This is the project that will never end, is what it seems like. And I have tried a lot of different glues, a lot of frustration, a lot of wanting to just throw a plate across the wall, but I didn't. I pushed through, and I think I finally figured out, at least for me, what needs to be done in order to make these magical floating teacup and saucers. With that said, tonight, I'm filming in the evening. Normally I film during the day while my kids are at school. And that is not possible right now with the current situation in our world. So my kids are at home and I am going to be crafting late at night. And so because of that, <laughs> cheers to y'all. <laughs> I am not drinking coffee for this particular tutorial. Oh, all right, so what I discovered after doing this project, E6000 was not my friend. Um, originally I started with liquid nails. Started with liquid nails and then I put too much liquid nails, and so it was taking forever to dry. And even when I thought it was dry, it wasn't completely dry and it kept falling apart. So then I switched gears, and I switched gears off camera, and went, I'm gonna just put a ton of E6000 on it, and we'll see how that goes. 
and it did okay on certain parts, but not on others. And so I was back to square one again. Now this one in particular does have liquid nails and it held up finally after legit drying for over a week. But then what I did was I put a crap ton, and that is going to be the way I'm gonna describe this, a crap ton of glue, a hot glue, very high temp glue. My glue gun is a power glue gun. Um, it gets insanely hot, so I would not use a low temp glue gun in any way for this particular project. And that's what I did for the floating teacup itself, the cup and saucer. The other thing I realized is when I originally was starting it, I had my fork in the middle of the plate and it became top heavy. So then I repositioned and the fork is much further over onto the edge of the plate itself. As you can see here, the fork is way over here so that we have the right balance. Now for our lovely um, creamer, teacup thingamajig. That one was too top heavy and so I put Brock's in there and we're just gonna call it that. So now what we're gonna do is the fun part. Hopefully, let's pray that nothing falls apart. I'm gonna set this one aside. I'm gonna do this one later. We're gonna focus on this guy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some floral tape and we're going to stretch it to activate it. That's what you need to do to activate the floral tape. And we're gonna go up the fork. That's gonna cover some of that for set the goal or the gold. I had one drink of the beer, you guys, of the silver. That's gonna cover the silver, then we're gonna cover it with moss, and then you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to announce this, but we have what we call munchkins, the teeniest, tiniest little flowers ever. Let me go grab you a mini flower to compare it to a munchkin. I just, you need to see this. They're so dang cute. This is a mini. Oh, look at this. This is a munchkin. They're so teeny and some of them are even tinier. Like, look at this little guy. Oh my god. Just can you look, oh my goodness, look how tiny. So these are the munchkins. They're brand new to our shop and we're gonna use them on the teacup thing. I'm so stinking excited to play with them. I'm not gonna dye any of those. To get some color, I am going to use just a little bit of filler that I have. And then we also just got in these beautiful preserved, I believe they're holland daisies is what they're called. And they're gonna give us our pop of color. So I've pulled a couple of those off. These are um, dried, actual, real flowers, and we're gonna sprinkle those in as well, just to add a little bit of color so that we're not gonna dye the munchkins today. All right? All right, I'm gonna crank up the tunes, I'm gonna speed through this, and we'll pull it all together, and along the way, I may stop and chit-chat with y'all. All right, let's get to it.
applause, like I needed applause. I cannot believe we finally got through the magical floating teacup. Oh man, I almost had to turn in my crafty card on this one. This is tough, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's absolutely magical and cool and I'm so glad that I did it just to say that I did it. But man, I don't know that I will be making a ton of these in the future, but how cool would these be for like a baby shower or some sort of like tea party themed event? Super cute, fun, whimsical, but they are, they are definitely an undertaking. And this one I went a little extra more than what a lot of them are out there because it wouldn't be me if I did go a little extra extra. I'm just picking off all of you little bits of moss at the end. I'm done, I'm tired, ready to go to bed. But we did it, you guys, we did it. I'm so excited. I hope you love this tutorial. If you did, I hope that you got to enjoy the process of a creative um, undertaking. And sometimes it doesn't work once or twice. You gotta try it three times before it finally all comes together. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to drop a comment down below, say hello. Let me know if you've ever made one of these. Are you going to try one or did I scare you off? Hopefully I didn't scare you off. But they, they take a little bit of time and a little bit of thinking and getting them to sit the right way with the glue and all. Oh my gosh, I could go on for hours about how these <laughs> are little stinkers, but they're cute. Um, so if you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And to find out about the 100 plus solo flowers we carry in the shop, including the little munchkins. Munchkins are now in the shop. Make sure to go to ohyourlovely.com. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.